a landmark network for solar radiation resource assessment established by us, the Centre for Wind Energy Technology, CWET, an autonomous research and development institution under the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Government of India. SRRA site conceptualization and installation is displayed. Velour Institute of Technology campus has been chosen as one of the stations. The site is surveyed for sun movements and shade which will fall throughout the year during seasonal changes with an integrated shade analysis instrument called SunEye. A report is generated to find the most favourable place for installation of a station, one which is shade-free throughout the year. Alignment of the station is crucial for accurate measurements. The site is installed on the terrace as a second step, north-south marking is done using precise compasses for accurate alignment of equipment. Preparation of the load-bearing foundation is important for installation of instrument towers, both for solar and weather equipment. A rugged foundation is crucial due to harsh and extreme weather conditions. All precautions are considered so that the foundation withstands high wind load, extreme temperature variation and heavy rain conditions. A precise ratio of RCC material is filled up in the foundation plate up to the level of the base plate. Foundation bolts are grouted in the concrete. The foundation is cured for 48 hours with proper dampness for settlement. A prefabricated SGS 6-meter triangular tower made from rust-proof galvanized steel members is slowly lifted and placed on the grouted bolts. The base plate of the tower is tightly locked with the foundation bolts and lock nut. For stability of the tower during windy conditions, we prefer providing three guy wires with a sturdy foundation. The length of the guy wire is adjusted so that the tower is exactly vertical and guy steel ropes are in a state of full tension. Now, skilled and trained SGS engineers start the task of installation of the weather and solar system. All the equipment is systematically taken out from the packing and precisely assembled at the site as per installation procedure. The solar tracker is a key system for solar radiation measurement. Extreme precaution is observed for assembly and alignment of the solar tracker. After assembly of the solar tracker is successfully completed, global and diffused radiation pyranometers and a direct radiation pyrheliometer are mounted on the assigned platform. The shading disc arm is also mounted on the solar tracker. It is mechanically connected so that in all solar elevation and azimuth conditions, the pyranometer measuring diffused radiation is always shaded. From an experience of installation and a degree of foresight, we have provided a ladder to approach the radiation sensors above the tower which require regular cleaning. The latitude and longitude of the station are precisely recorded with a handheld GPS. These coordinates are fed into the data logger for precise tracking of the sun by the solar tracker. A tipping bucket rain gauge is installed on a separate mast to record the rainfall. To operate all the systems in the field station, solar panels have been installed for power autonomy. Installation of weather sensors is a high precision task. The field engineer fixes them at predetermined heights using safety belts. All the cables are routed through UV-protected and rodent-proof flexible covers. The site is protected with a lightning arrester with a chemical earthing pit deep below the ground. See here the visually pleasing view of the installed system on the tower showing the NEMA enclosure for the external battery, IP67 box for data logger, temperature and humidity sensor in the radiation shield, GPRS antenna, GPS antenna and ultrasonic wind sensor. Here's the inside view of the NEMA enclosure with two high capacity SMF batteries, solar charge controller, power meter and pressure sensor. A push button switch is provided and connected to the data logger to record cleaning operation of the sensors. 
After the power is switched on, a self-test is performed and the tracker calibrates using the GPS position of the sun. On completing the self-calibration, it starts pointing to the sun. Before commissioning the site, the site engineer thoroughly checks every weather and solar radiation parameter installed at the site through the front panel display of the data logger, which has the facility to display real-time measured parameters. The display of each parameter can be seen sequentially. A detailed display board with description of instruments, layout plan and ownership information is provided at the site. The site is finally commissioned for operations. All field stations are connected to a central server located at Seawet Chennai through two-way GPRS connectivity. A dual hot redundant server is installed at Seawet to ensure that this crucial data is not lost even in the most adverse conditions. In all, 115 such stations have been installed and are operational in all Indian states and Union territories. The sites are spread all over the country to record 18 parameters of solar radiation and weather data which will be utilized to create the Sol map of India. In keeping with company policy, we focus on human resource development. Regular training programs are conducted for operators besides the on-the-job expertise that they acquire. In order to maintain the quality of measurements, a world-class calibration facility using WRR standards has been created at Seawet Chennai. All field equipment is regularly calibrated. The Solar Radiation Monitoring Network is commissioned and operational. SGS Weather takes pride in being part of this national endeavour, a step towards providing the country clean energy. This success story is dedicated to officials of MNRE, CWET and SRRA division, expert consultants, our partner Geonica SA Earth Sciences Spain and all participants who have directly and indirectly contributed to implementation of this complex network, which is the largest and most unique in the world.